Hello and welcome, I'm Bill and this is an intro to C, a comprehensive guide to learning the C programming language. This is meant for beginners or people who are new to programming in general and want to learn the C programming language. This course will be structured into chapters and sections much like a book and each chapter will cover a certain topic and each section will cover a certain subject in that topic. To make videos easier to find, each section will equal one video, which is good to find, and each video will have a title with a certain numbering convention on it as well. This numbering convention will have a first number and a second number separated by a point. The first number denotes the chapter, and then the second number denotes the section. So an example is 2.3, so chapter 2, section 3. Understand? The video you're watching now is the introductory video for the introductory section of the chapter. Yes? So I use the number 0 to denote this. So this is 0, 0.0. It's the introductory chapter and the introductory section. Makes sense. So every chapter will have this. So for instance the next chapter will, will have an introduction which will be 1.0 and the next chapter will be 2.0. You can see where I'm going. Good. At the end of every chapter I'll be handing out homework in a sense. This is completely optional to do, you don't have to do it. And unlike homework that you may have had in school, you do not hand this in because I will not mark it. It is for your personal learning and practice to make sh to reinforce the skills that you have learnt in that chapter. The reason, and I will not give solutions out to these problems that I'll set because there will be maybe multiple ways of solving it or um, it's you need to learn it yourself. The solution may not reinforce your learning. But if you do have any queries about the homework or anything like that, please ask in the comments below on the YouTube channel or on the video itself. And me or someone else will reply to you, hopefully. Um, so there's that. For the rest of this series, if you want to follow along on this video course, you can. It's completely free and you can. But if you want to have some extra resources to read, to help you along to uh, learn, you can. So I would recommend the C Programming Language, the second edition, also known as K&R, um, uh, named after their authors, uh, Kernigan and Ritchie. This is one of the best C programming books out there, and it's usually dubbed the Bible for the C Programming Language. It's a bit outdated at the moment, but I mean outdated in the fact that they use an older version of the C language. And the language we, the version we're going to be using is C99. Even though that isn't the most modern, it is most, it's the most um, widely supported on most compilers. For instance, Visual Studio, the one we're going to be using on Windows, is only just supported C99, even though it's 17 years old at the time of recording. The second book I'm going to recommend is C Primer Plus by Stephen Prater. Now, you need to, if you want to get that book, it's um, you need to get the fifth edition because that is the minimum that has the C99 spec in it. Now, it's one of the books that I learned from. I learned from the fourth edition, but it was still C Primer Plus, and I think it is an absolutely excellent book in that it splits out each section into a very comprehensive, digestible size. Good. Again, these are completely optional. You do not have to get them as they cost real money and they are real physical things. This course is meant to be completely free and free for anyone to use. So let's get started and in the next video, or the section if you want to call it, I will be talking about the basic history of the C programming language and why you may want to program in C.